Hey everyone, uh, it's Princess Pandy, and welcome back to another Let's Play. Uh, today we're gonna be playing Bear and Breakfast. It's a cute little game on Steam where you're a bear running, I think, like a, like a, like an inn or something. Not too sure about all that. But it's really cute. And... I'm really excited to play. I love cute little, um, time management games. So we'll just jump right in and see what it's about. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from afar. Hold on, no one said this was a, a horror game. Weathered stone and dry wood surround it. Oh, suddenly a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. What the hell? Evening fell dark and silent again except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. What the hell? Hello? I can't move. Do not... Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. What the hell's happening? Move. Can't do that either. <laughs> well, that's convenient. What the hell? Look at him just walking. Find. You mean like an introspection? Introspection thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap on the death- in the deathbed. E to interact. Okay, a little nappy time. Don't- Don't what? You're not great at making up- making your mind up. Wake. What the hell is this shit? That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. Our name's Hank. <laughs> Uh-oh, better see what's up. Alright. Oh, wow. Can't go anywhere else, okay. Are you my mom? I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? What does that mean? Good to see hibernation hadn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping, too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Well, gee, thanks, mom. No, I'm, where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. What the heck? There's always something to do around the house. Anyone that tells you differently has never looked behind their fridge. Ooh. What is this? The basics. Oh! You can zoom in. Auto save feature, do not X game while this animation is displayed. Alright. Okay. We'll keep it zoomed out for now. What the? Good. Get out. Morning. Out. That's not a very good morning of you. There's something good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reason to be up yet. 
What do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. What? We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> what is happening? Ooh. Hank! Kids! Over here. So, we live with our mom. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming! We live with our mom and a bird and a wolf. Adventure mode. You can walk around and track the things and pick up items. Amateur has access to the adventure mode menu. It has every item you find in the world. You can use fil filters or the organize button to sort through items magically. Or throw away whatever you don't need using the delete slot. The minimap also displays your current location, day, time, and allows you to navigate the world. Okay. Hmm. What is denim anyway? Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. We'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. No, no, I fell asleep halfway through. Can't read what it says. You're illiterate, Tank. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss M. Ma'am, did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today's a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. Ah! The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. What the hell is that? I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. <laughs> I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Nice. Awesome. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. <laughs> Alright, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further, uh than the swamp. Yes, Ma. Okay, we got collectibles. Um, collectibles are special items you lock for your character that give various perks. You can find your current unlocked all the collectibles in the character screen. Uh, you can access the quest log from the menu bar. It shows your current quest allows you to track them and find objectives using the arrow indicator. Quests which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Quest status icons will display over character orange means available, blue means in progress, green means ready. Okay. There's always something to do. Well, yeah, 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 I know. I was just trying to look at this. Odd looking fella. Wait, did it become nighttime already? Oh, I don't know where I'm going.
southeast into Black Marsh or Black Moss. Yeah, it was this way. Why did it get dark? It's already nighttime. This way. The three friends found themselves farther than they ever gone before. I don't know if my recording paused or what, but I skipped the first sentence. I think it said they went further than they ever gone before. Past the so soothing meadows and the, quaint, the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie the... Carolean dog? Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. <laughs> Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. C cheerful and curious. But maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely gonna, not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. <laughs> Somehow we owned it in, so. Alright, gang, sp spread out! Bro, it's so dark. Itchy fur just means more friends to ha hang out with. Oh, ew. Flightless birds don't know. Yeah, yeah, we. Yeah. Tire. Why is it spelled like that? Screech. What in the what? I heard it too. We better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where, where the sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care, Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Uh-oh. What did I just pick up then? I swear I just picked something up. Am I crazy? What is that? Oh, I can't reach that. Okay. Oh no. Let me out. <laughs> That's one big rock. Are we not supposed to go down? We're supposed to go up? Timber Crossing. What is that? What the? Did I just pick up some trash? The Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm taking it all. Clear that house out, bro. Are in this area. All it's missing is a picnic basket. Itchy. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, hello? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Excuse me? The strange shark had a shiny, bouncing exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to its neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. 
No, it's completely new. nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab an opportunity by the throat and show it who's the boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience and enticing escape electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the orange uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next mi minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do I get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multi-international, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. <laughs> what the? Offering secure touristry, adjacent goods, and services in exchange for the valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old useless prices, family jewelry, or expressive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all exclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a hair heirloom. <laughs> Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? Where it's millions of customers all around the valley. We all take any location or premises no matter how run down or decrepted, to offer our very human patrons the holiday that they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. I've seen this before. Humans wander around here where Shark Boy tells them, then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. Dang. Read it in the magazine, humans are whack. If you or a friend or of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage Premium Premises, by restoring, repairing, and redecorating, and bringing it up to minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, <laughs> simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. What? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure he wants, us to, wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was the humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Human back money give good. I'm gonna be honest, it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We're just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Bro. Hmm. Okay. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. What the fuck? By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Well, good luck finding that. Welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. So if I press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. <laughs> Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. True. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy, and I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind, besides I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he'll, uh, he ever left Starda or Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Okay. I guess in this game we're just gonna go around and like repair everything so more humans can come and live or just visit I suppose which I think this is a really cute game it looks so fucking cute is it a beaver hmm, why not simply punch the trees what the <gasps> I must say if it wasn't a beaver I would have been disappointed by god a bear it's just me, sir, Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? 
I'm just thinking for you to tell, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A, strick of, a stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's the sharks and timber crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plank for, the, for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with this? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you know, of course, well, of course, no, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these paper and, sch and schematics. I felt, it felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so much shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all of that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack and timber crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you, and bring the bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Oh, it's colorblind. Oh. <gasps> we just stole from this dude. I guess we have everything? Materials, you can enter materials in the world to loot the, their contents. Are we still on day one? Press E again when in the container screen to take everything inside it quickly. You can split stacks for multiple items. Scavenging one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Certain materials will respond periodically in expected locations. Wood will be found in your tree, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump, and so on. Store any extra materials in the stash near the pond voyage car in each area. It's day two, apparently. So did you find all the wood? Yep. Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect, you're doing such a good job. Uh, thanks, I just picked it off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing, I'll see you there. Okay. This is fun. we take whatever we can. Is wonderful and we're gonna use this old shed I haven't seen a human claim in a years oh yes this will do nicely look at decide to finally show up as I was telling your friend here the wood you brought ought to be enough I'll get started on this first you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage I think I can do that I think I've already done that did you clean up the shed yep yep great now we'll have to use this old workbench the what well you can't hammer a nail in the thin air you need some place to make it work the table next to the tree hank Grab someone and put it back together while I tidy up the place. This thing? Oh. What's this? Repairable objects. Yeah. Workbenches will allow you to build and craft in the area. Monuments will improve the status of the area and attract more guests. Passage will be cleared and bridges will be repaired to allow access. Nice. I did it. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. What? Baby's first building. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now humans get 
got over the cold stone floors in Ichihei a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springing surface. Here, this is none of these things, but it'll do. <laughs> this is none of these things. This is the shop for new items. You have locked new crafting recipes. Sh uh, shabby palette bed recipes. Awesome. Go make one at the workbench. Okay. Once repaired, the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. To craft functional flowers, you use the workbench and enter the crafting menu. Functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted for the material. Beds give comfort and belong to bedroom. Toilets give hygiene and belong in the bathroom, etc. Once you're done, exit build mode using, by using the exit button. Learn new blueprints from quests or by buying them and interacting with them to learn the recipe. Buy more blueprints at the Pond Voyage Shop as they become available. Okay, we're crafting. We're making a bed! So, do we just... Oh, we made it. Oh, but we have to we have to place it. Um two by three. <laughs> Wait, is this a door? Oh. Ah. And then we just put the bed. Peasy. We did it! Oh, I craft the bed. But I made it! Oh, I went a few steps ahead. My B. I'm sorry, I already made the room. Were you able to make that bed? Yeah, I got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it good to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. I already did. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir, stains and all. Ew. Brilliant, I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed, to feed their false sense of super superiority by having someone around they, they can look down on. You sure see know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go and a little back book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how to make it quite straightforward, really. Awesome. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rack and do. Um, we're making this. Oh, they also want me to put it down. Okay. We don't want to build a room. We just want to... Oh. Oh, placing objects with that. Okay. Well, in build mode, you can always place furniture objects freely without having to build a room first. Use the inventory button, then select and place down any objects you crafted or bought. Decorative only items can be placed anywhere in the resort. Room specific items can only be placed in their room type, yes. Alright, we're done here. I did it. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. And are they gonna even are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry, thank you. Thank you! Sorry. Go talk to Sharky while I tell him we got his joint ready. <laughs> On the third day. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Nice! This, the time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. <laughs> Those dewy, mostly Harris creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask Tank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, Keep your distance. So much for that. 
Congratulations! <laughs> what? You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. The front desk can be used to manage your resort. The resort overview panel will show all the active resorts you discovered. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest require uh, requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resorts. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands and further rooms. Use the accept button to accept a guest request. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match bedroom scores to the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you're off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Okay. They don't have a bus sign. I wish I could get rid of these stumps. Can I repair this at the very least? Um, prestige level. Wait, who's this? Okay. I did it. That people okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I did it. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you're much, much closer to financial ruin. What? But you have to ha but you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. We barely have any money. Oh, this is to store, okay. There are no tasks to be done in this area at the moment. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, well, how do we- we just have to wait. I guess I can walk around. Collect some stuff, I don't know. What's over here? Scary buses. I don't think I could handle the bus life. What is this? What is that? Oh shit, it's a person. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you- you a good looking one. Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would argue you're the rare sight. Bear noises. <laughs> they can't understand us. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the bus buses here if it wasn't evident. Ha, huh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you- do you take the bus? <laughs> What's a bus? No, he knows what a bus is. I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can just leave my I can't just I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any post since well in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? What the hell? She usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Who the fuck is... <laughs> I'm just gonna steal your things. Don't mind me. I can't open this yet. Interesting. I guess we'll go to find Beanie? What's this place? Is that a 
raccoon? What is that? Hello. Twook. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slock? Scrap? Rubble? No, I need something ex exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal champion. I got what you need. You stumble upon the most handsome curator of the crap this side of the valley. Oh my god. There isn't one of these things these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look at your dump in that dumpster. That's so fast, bozo. How do you know I can trust you? Am I, uh, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell ya anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Buy me a sack, then we can talk. Tuna? Oh, did I already find it? I'm dumb. I already, rec I already like, raided his fridge or something. So, did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Hmm, just like mom used to make. Alright, you, you brutish charmer. I almost said British. I'll buy you my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Tooks, tooks garbage. Tom Nook? <laughs> awesome. I mean, real valuables. What the hell? Oh, that's so cute. But we have to, like, sell, like, furniture and stuff. What's that noise? So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal? No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Well, that's my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch you, you ain't. Besides, I haven't even seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folks pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demands so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. Especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for him, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? There's a person. They used to flock around the place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of this. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Wait, I gotta talk to this girl. Where'd she go? I gotta check her in, don't I? Did I just talk to her? <laughs> Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous! That old travel kiosk was the Jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids? No, you'll actually find it more of a rectangular parallel... Pie, yep. A rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, as usual, my son. Student. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble. Then we'll get to the building. Well, hang on. I feel like I'm just jumping towards it. Uh, Tooks accepts valuables, currency, the world that's littered with them, literally. <coughs> Guess also leave them behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy... She's scared of us. Decorative objects from Tok from Took. Can we do more in here? I 
I mean, we could build another room. Maybe we shouldn't, though. She likes it. Oh, fuck. Wait, how long is she staying? Leaves tomorrow. I don't see why we can't make another room. With what we have already. That's not what I wanted. We have no reviews yet. Um, he wants comfort three. I don't think we have that, so we'll get Finlay Chauncey here. Oh wait, no, comfort. Hang on. Oh, I'm trying to figure this out. I like how they don't question why there's a bear here. The bus sign. Okay, first of all, we need to go to the to, to Saul whatever. Oh, he has a quest for us as well. Uh oh, alert, alert. Looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige! Oh, wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property ain't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly! Dang! But it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. I go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Okay, I'm gonna buy... Oh, we only have 70 coins. Wooden footrest recipe. Okay. So what can we do with this? There we go. Hello. Okay. Now we'll go to Sawdust. Uh, prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across the resort. Your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort's overroof panel. Increase prestige. <coughs> Excuse me, hang on. Increasing. Increase the speech prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score, either positive or negative. I'm assuming the trash has a negative score. All right, where's Beanie? Can't go that way, okay. Where's Beanie and who is Beanie? Was that noise? Why? I wonder where this big tree. What? Right, it says wait, give. How do I open my quest? I 
your way to sawdust. We're in sawdust, right? Yes. But who's Beanie? Blind? Oh, there's some stairs here. Hello, are you Beanie? Oh, the fire watchtower. Duh, that's what he said. Oh, hi. Oh, that's Sabine. Hello, I don't believe we met yet. <laughs> How did you end up here? With my feetsies. Bumbling bear noises. Good physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah, then what am I saying right now? Actual little bear noises. That was a pretty unintelligible, pretty un... <sighs> can't say it. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> I'm just yoking ya. What's a big softie like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's a, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the best person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie's such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe it. You found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand your resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license and I had a much smaller hat. What? <laughs> we mapped up the whole valley, figured out where to put the stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I knew he came all the way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Awesome. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Interesting. 